Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to some more Destiny Child. So, the Bari event is here. Finally, the, new, the next rock to break. I can go in, see how strong I am. <laughs> at least I'm hoping I'm strong, you know? I was trying to look at the event right now. I was actually trying to go to the shop, but I pushed the wrong thing. But yeah, this is the event I'm going to farm the hell out of. So there's a few new characters that come with this event too. This character, which I think actually looks pretty cool. I think she has like... What would you call them? Uh, Tufts? Tufts? I think it's Tufts. Yeah, she has like bazooka toffs. That's my first time ever seeing that, you know. No, there's one character with like SMG toffs. <laughs> actually, that's a wind unit too. I actually never got to finish her now that I think about it. And today I'm going to be uploading three videos because I have a special announcement later. But what's all in the shop right now? Okay, so get this free character, get a weapon, armor, and accessory. Then you get Bari. But if you guys are unfamiliar with the raid, basically, let me go ahead and get into this because I just saw that. Oh god, that's the wrong team too. Yeah, it'd be fine. But basically, you can get Bari inside of like just grinding, but her drop rate is like pretty low. Let's just say that. Oh my god, I... Bro, that raid damage is going to be so much fun. <laughs> I already put him inside of the um, main wind team. Or wood team I'm going to be using. I'm still going to call it wind, man. It just seems like a more wind type. I guess because I'm mostly used to games just calling it wind instead of wood. I've never heard a term of wood. I mean, if that's the case, you just should call it fire flame. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's how that works, huh? But let's go look at these characters after I uh, grab these, because these are for participating in that event. Any event you participate in, you have um, rewards at the end of it. I'm going to skip this. Cause it would have just did the animation for a five unit if I just skip it anyway, so. Alright, four stars, is this the poison one? Oh, yep, nice. I actually need that. Can I get a five? Oh, I don't have this one. Okay, so basically straight up life still, that could be really good. Especially if you want to sustain one of your attackers. Okay. Why did I come over here? <laughs> arena. What? Did I just call this arena? What the hell is wrong with me, man? <laughs> Alright, so. This character. What's her name? I'm not saying that. I'm good. <laughs> as soon as I saw the day, I was like, nope. But. Hits up to three times with her tap skill. Gains weak point skill final. Final blow to self. That's actually not half bad for a tap skill, to be honest. Um, slide skill. Deals damage up to three random units. 
also absorbs the attack into your own HP. Water units receive additional damage. Pretty nice. All right, drive skill. Deals damage to four enemies. And water types take additional damage during the raid. It ignores 4,000. God damn. That's actually the highest defense nor we've seen. But this is only in raids. So that's actually pretty good for a raid character. Alright, she's not that bad. Uh, let's look at you. Oh yeah, I've seen you before. Okay, so this is a support character. Let's see. Alright. So the tap skill heals up to two enemy, well, two enemies, <laughs> heals up to two allies with the lowest HP. Slide skill deals damage and regens two allies and gives the allies defense boost. Has a chance to apply antidote. Removes poison. Okay, up to two poison units. Still has a chance, which chance units for like healing really aren't all that good, but to be honest, it, it's starting off at a pretty decent base of 70. I wonder if you up it will be like, no, I wouldn't say 90, it'll probably be like probably 80 something. Unless somebody could correct me on that. But I don't think it's going to be over the drive, personally. But who, who knows? Alright, the, the drive skill heals all allies, has a 90% chance of removing poison for three poison units. Alright, pretty decent. And the leader skill is pretty much universal and actually really damn good, actually. So, the skill increases uh, charge speed for all units. Not bad. Alright, let's see if they changed her. Alright, first skill has a chance to inflict heal block. It doesn't say how many people it hits still, but it's, I'm guessing it's one still. Alright, so her slide skill hits two enemies. Okay, so yeah, all of her skills are the same for when we went over that last video. I don't think they've changed anything. I think it's all the same. But just in case, the slide skill deals damage to two enemies. And priority is buff units. On defenders, deals bonus, or deals ignore damage. And inflicts bind. Bind pretty much is a debuff or damage over time that pretty much increases the more buffs you have. So the max number of buffs that it will like count is six. So your multiplier will be up to 350 if they have six buffs. So that, yeah, that's going to be damaged like every four seconds. Pretty decent. Nothing like over the top though. And a drive skill inflicts damage to four enemies on debuff targets. It inflicts um, debuff burst. The same thing that uh, Fridge has. And a leader skill. Slide skill does 5% more damage for water units. Decent. Not the best, but decent. But pretty decent. We also have this again. That's worth doing. Making sure I don't have any uh, things to open. Alright, so that's pretty much all the new characters.
I want to start getting in here and getting on my raids, you know? Let me actually, actually change to my actual team. There we go. I wish somebody had a level 40 up right now so I can test it. Or at least a level 30. Try to put as much um, crit on him as I could. I'm trying to kill, like carry the least. Like buffers, I can. Less buffers, the better for this event. Just because damage over time normally hurts like hell in these events. That's one goal I'm going to work towards. So, debuff characters are probably going to be the bread and butter of this. That's kind of the reason why I did not bring um, Diana. But it still could be a problem. I'm just trying to cut down like on like buffs for so many characters. Because if everybody has buffs, then that just makes it troublesome. At least if one or two people have buffs, it won't be all that bad. So I got two buffs right here. Disappeared. Alright, so they don't stay up for long. Oh, that's three though. Okay, so three I'll be taking. Two hundred and no, one hundred and twenty five damage. If I have three buffs on. Still don't know how hard she hits, though. Oh, yeah, she does have the hill ignore thing. So. Ah, that's going to be annoying. Or the hill block as well, so I was going to say. That's going to be one of the things that's going to really be annoying. Especially if she hill blocks multiple people. Because most of the time, well actually I think all the time, the bosses don't actually act the way as their cards. Well not cards, uh, the actual units you get. Like, Bari can just, I think, he'll block one enemy. But I'm pretty sure the raid version is just going to, he'll block, like, more than just one. No, so much like that is what I want to say. That's at least how it feels. I at least want to get my first five out of the way. Then we're going to do like probably one summon and that's pretty much it. People up here already in the 20s and crap like that. People are like going all out, buying back in. Aiming for the top, man. As for me, I don't got time to be aiming for the top. <laughs> I think I'm good. I just want the characters to get in and get out.
I really want to start making blind characters though. Because that best damage is so useful. So that did like 30k. That would do like half of her HP. You know what? Hmm. I don't want to add on more buffs. But I might take out. And put, I might take out somebody and put Pantheon in. That's at least a thought. Mm, no. Um. Not only that. Why I think about it, you'll get Steamroad if you um, have too many buffs. Because dot damage isn't a joke. That crap actually hurts. I think we're fine with what we have right now. At least that's how I feel. Make sure to use your tickets, guys. Because you do have a Ragna mission for them. Alright. Let's go ahead and do a summon to end off this. To be honest, I want another Krampus. That's what I want. Ooh. But I just saw this Diana change and... Pantheon? I'm sorry, man. It's, it's, I gotta switch up. Like, what's over here, my guy? <laughs> Probably nothing good, but you know, a man can dream. That oh, made a different noise. What is this? Four star. Three star, three star, and a four star. Yeah, you can tell about it, like, start off noise of what you'll potentially get. All right. Pretty sure that's all it. Can I receive wars if they are expired? Oh yeah, I forgot to complete that. I still got two more days on that. I'll complete that later. There's today. Shrine dagger. Oh, this, that's for this event. Just we got new stuff. Alright. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's up in this past, though? That's the real question before I end off. Oh, they actually have the skin behind the paywall, man. Oh, it's a different skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I totally forgot they have the whipping noise for uh for the fucking home start. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Just because her ass was hanging out and you could whip her. So yeah, that was in the Korean and I think the Japanese version. Just so you know, a little small info about that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and dip. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.